Hello everyone, my name is Ali Nazmi Kalik from PCR Online and today we are having the distinct pleasure of uh, having Dr. John Alexander uh, from Duke University, United States to discuss the results of the Pacific AMI trial. Uh, Dr. Alexander, thank you so much for accepting our kind of invitation. My pleasure. Uh, my first question is, what are the main takeaways of the Pacific AMI trials? Could you please provide us uh, with the design and the results of the trial? Uh, yes, I'd be happy to. So Pacific AMI is a phase two trial, so that's very important. Um, its objective was to explore a number of doses of the uh, factor 11 inhibitor asyndexian versus placebo. Uh, in patients with a, a recent acute myocardial infarction on a background of dual antiplatelet therapy. So asyndexian is a factor 11 inhibitor and there is the hypothesis that it may be a, a effective anticoagulant at preventing thrombotic events without causing bleeding while still al allowing hemostasis. So it inhibits upstream in the coagulation cascade inhibiting factor 11 which plays a key role in the, in the burst of thrombin activity, but it still allows some generation of thrombin uh, that uh, is necessary for hemostasis. So we studied three doses, 10, 20, and 50 milligrams of asyndexian versus placebo uh, for uh, a year in patients following an acute myocardial infarction. Our outcomes were measuring factor 11 inhibition, um, to know how much we were inhibiting, mm -hmm. and then bleeding and ischemic Just events. So first, regarding the factor 11 inhibition, uh, with 10 milligrams, we saw about 70% inhibition, 20 milligrams, about 80%, and with 50 milligrams, more than 90% inhibition of factor 11. So almost complete inhibition yeah. of factor Impressive. 11. Yes. Um, we saw no increase in bleeding. I mean, this and is this the is the main point. Th it's, trial, that's right. So we, we completely inhibited factor 11 and we saw no increase in bleeding. This still needs to be replicated in phase three, but it's very promising. Very promising. Yeah. Uh, is there any ongoing uh, phase three trial or any planned phase right. three trial? So um, Asyndexian is uh, being developed by Bayer and it's a big, uh, they're, they're planning a large phase three program they're planning a, a atrial fibrillation trial, a stroke trial, and we're having discussions about an acute MI trial, but there's no plan to start one right now. One, okay? okay, no plan. Um, we, um, so, I mean, that, that's really the main, the main findings uh, from uh, Pacific AMI. Thank you so much. And what do you think, my last question is, what do you think about the future of the factor 11 yeah. inhibition? Uh, also in, atrial fibrillation patients yeah. and also in the uh, post-myocardial infarction patients. Yeah. So and what we use in uh, really across cardiovascular care is antiplatelet drugs and anticoagulants and they all are limited by bleeding. Yeah. Right? This I mean right. they're yeah. all limited by bleeding. So we need to pay a price. Yes. So bleeding. the real goal here is to develop an a antithrombotic drug that doesn't cause either any bleeding or as much bleeding as our current options. And then you can start to imagine all the places where that might be beneficial. So in atrial fibrillation, I mean, imagine if we had drugs that were as effective as factor 10 inhibitors, but didn't cause bleeding. I mean, that would be a huge advance. In stroke, there's a huge need for antithrombotic therapies that don't cause bleeding. And post-MI, there's also a need for antithrombotic therapies yes. that don't cause bleeding. We're trying right now to sh you know, shorten duration of P2Y12 inhibitors because of bleeding, right? Yeah. We don't use oral anticoagulants like rivaroxaban and VKA, uh, vitamin K antagonists that we know are effective because they cause too much bleeding. Bleeding, yes. Right? So if, and so what factor 11 inhibitors, I think, will cause less bleeding. Yes. The key unknown is do they work? Yes. They will be and efficient yes, or not. That's I think right. This is the main question. That's right. Be, uh, Answered resolved. in phase three. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Dr. Alexander, for accepting our invitation again. And please stay tuned with the PCR online and please keep following us on social media and on, from our website. Thank you so much.